we had tried to get a merger done, and um, unfortunately, the uh, Federal Trade Commission decided that they wanted to go uh, uh, try to challenge it. Right. Uh, and so, you know, we talked about it, and we decided for now the best thing was to call it off. Strategically, though, what does it mean for you? Meaning, long term, <clears throat> when you think about going it alone versus being part of a larger media company, dare I say, or finding another uh, competitor uh, to merge with? I mean, I think part of what led to the decision to not really uh, try to fight it in court is we feel really good about where our business is at. Our growth rates are back up north of 30 percent year over year. Uh, we're seeing more and more new customers join, and we have some incredible things planned for NFL season, including this huge billion-dollar promotion. So right. we felt pretty good about our position and decided that the best thing to do I like to any, any competition that, that's worth at least a billion dollars. How does it work? <laughs> the way it works is actually totally free to enter. Um, you have to go and... And you're giving a billion dollars away. Oh, Not if somebody really. hits a perfect line... Well, we aren't. There's insurance against yeah, this it. Is like the Warren, this is like the Warren Buffett it's deal. It's the same idea, basically, yeah. It's the insurance... Does uh, he get a royalty for the idea? No. no uh, well, okay. it's, it's not... I don't even know if it's his idea, but the same <laughs> basic idea of having uh, an insurance-backed billion-dollar prize for something. Right. And, um, you know, for us, it was something that, while certainly, uh, you know, it's very difficult to hit the perfect lineup, and it'll take a lot of, a lot of real skill and... Um, something that, it, you know, it's, it's a, a thing that probably won't happen. There's enough of a chance that it could happen right. that we wanted to have insurance. What does the insurance company charge you for that? Uh, I don't think I can disclose, but it's a lot. It's enough where if you saw it, you'd say, all right, if they really thought this couldn't happen, they wouldn't have paid for this. What, what insurance company takes that? Is that like a Lloyd's of London kind of thing? Yeah, there's a bunch of them that do it. We have Swiss Re. We have, uh, we have a bunch of them that are in it. It was split between a number of insurance companies. Surprisingly, no individual company wanted to back the entire billion themselves. Interesting. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Uh, we're, so we're, separately, we're talking about ratings of sports and what's going to happen this year versus what was happening last year, and also even just the politics of the moment and whether politics has entered sport. You know, I think that last year a lot of people were focused on the election, and certainly there's still a lot of focus on politics and news now. There always will be. But last year, I think, because there was an election and because of the unprecedented media coverage, I saw some stats that even during the NFL games, ratings were way up on a lot of the news stations, which tells me people are watching that instead of the news. So. Right. Hopefully for sports this year, it'll, it'll be more uh, like it's been in normal what years. Is well, that's true. There's no political headlines coming out right now. Yeah, exactly. Now. It's totally what is the quiet. regulatory <laughs> risk for your business uh, going forward? Meaning there's still some outstanding issues all, all over this country that have not been all figured out completely. Well, we, we've had 16 states now uh, regulate uh, fantasy sports. Right. And um, we've seen pretty much uh, all of the noise that we experienced a couple years ago completely dissipate. And I think it's been a great uh, job by the team of really focusing on educating about what our game is about. I think there's a lot of misinformation out there at first. And now that it's uh, sort of more you know, known and that there's actual regulations around it, including in New York, in New right. York it is completely regulated, uh, I think people just feel a lot more comfortable with the business. And, We've been uh, really, I think, working hard to show that we, we take this seriously and that we are making sure that we do everything we possibly can to create the best product for customers. Okay. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.